Newt Gingrich alludes to racial overtones by saying, maybe Obama needs to go play basketball. I mean, after all, he is black, Lewis, and isn't that what black people do? Sure, yeah. Here's Newt Gingrich. I love this. I'm, I'm assuming there's some rhythm to Barack Obama that the rest of us don't understand, whether, <laughs> whether he needs large amounts of rest, whether he needs to go play basketball for a while. Um, <laughs> I don't you know, watch ESPN. I mean, I don't quite know what his... I mean, Lewis, let's be honest. This is a black president, and black presidents, unlike any other presidents, would need to do different things to do well at politics, including playing basketball or watching sports on ESPN. <laughs> What else is there to say? Could have been worse, but, uh, I mean, did he just say this because he knows Barack enjoys playing basketball? Come on. I mean, let, let's, so when, when George can W... We defin- can we say with certitude? We cannot say with certitude, but let's think about the other example. Would anybody think to say, you know, Bush wasn't doing that well in that debate. Maybe the guy just needs to go cut some wood on his ranch or, um, you know, go watch a baseball game. Uh, or I mean, right? I, it, why, is, why is this the first thing that comes to Newt Gingrich's mind? That the debate performance was affected because Obama didn't watch enough sports on TV or play basketball, a predominantly black sport, in the professional leagues in the U.S.? I mean, come on. It's the first thing that came to his mind because, probably because it's a racial stereotype. But... <laughs> what do you think about this, Natan? Yeah, I guess... Uh... Obama reminds Gingrich of Michael Jordan, which in a way he's he is the political equivalent of, I should say. Yeah, maybe that's what's what's really being implied. I don't know. 